Sports at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. We're in the first quarter of action, and it's the Buccaneers who are in control of the football. Key looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. And Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon, so that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips, and this one winds up getting intercepted. Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Double and this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On second down, it's Hill. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain there. And now they're looking at a third and 13. Jackson on third and long. That one complete to Hill. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. The numbers for Evans a week ago. 
Six catches, 103 in the yardage department. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Open man is Godwin, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, 3-for-3 three three to start this drive. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. To throw on second down. Key. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up. Yes, sir. the play fake. Key. He completes it to Evans. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard game. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. First and ten, Key, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Cameron Bray, his second touchdown on the season, and the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Let's go. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. 
Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third and 13. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, Jackson. And Jeffrey's got it. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers. You hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now the first carry for Brian Hill. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Jackson going to get this out to Brown. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick. But let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that will tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, like I said, he's looked pretty good to this point. Yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. This quarterback now, 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Set. 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 
It's just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. Just me and you. <laughs> Looking to throw on second down. Key. This one complete to Scott Miller. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now on fourth down, Bruce Arians will send out his field goal unit. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretary lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. To throw is Jackson toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Jackson, and he's got Sneed. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. First target, first catch, and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing is Jackson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. The Ravens on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. To throw again is Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. <laughs> It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's got to be feeling pretty good, playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On third down, key. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. 
And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Off play action, key, airing this one out for Evans. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked, but instead they'll keep it on second down. On second down, it's Sanders, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and 10. To throw on third down, Key. Open man is Miller, he's got it. And he's gonna be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Here's Sanders. And shutting him off, now open field. He's got the first down here inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback, you had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run, and you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. They'll run on first down. Nixon. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Second down and in inches. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So offensively on this drive, two and two on third downs. And now they face a third. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Miles Sanders, his fifth touchdown now on the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. A 10-play drive that time, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage.
So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it out of the gun with Hill. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Switch up, switch up. Operating from the gun, Jackson. He's got his man, it's Andrews. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now a 10th carry for Hill. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Third and two. Here's Jackson. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Check, check. They'll go with Hill here on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Jackson under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Shaquille Barrett, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Here's Jackson throwing on third and long. A dump off now to Hill. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. The Ravens send their putter out now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Off the play fake. Key. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. All day, dog. Now Sanders. 
seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. To throw on second down. Key, he finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 43. On first down, Key. That's caught by Howard. He got 29 yards that time. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one's incomplete. The intended target was Chris Godwin, but it's going to be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again. Key. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The putter pinion now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense has done a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Jackson looking left side. Andrews with it complete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. The Ravens send their punter out now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, the Bucks swarm in, and they block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And it's a Buccaneers touchdown. There are plenty of ways for a special teams coach to get excited. But when you block a punt into the end zone and recover for a score, yeah, he's going to be jumping up and down a big way. And as a punter, you know that that clock is ticking. He just didn't get it off in time. comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Able to get the pressure, get a paw on it, knock it down, and then go and grab it and take it into the end zone. What a play. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. 
Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. This Ravens offense heads back out there, led by Lamar Jackson. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Jackson. They complete it to Hill. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Jackson now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. The Ravens send their punter out now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier, and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Derrick Henry, a touchdown run in the victory. Next, we head north to Philly. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Miles Sanders, a touchdown run in the victory. And then finally, a good one on Monday Night Football to wrap up the week between the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here are the Bucs to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Key, and his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And it's second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. To throw again. Key. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. 
One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. From the gun, Key. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Check, check, Out check, from check. the shadows of their Rock goal line, here's Rock first and 10 from the 11. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough check, night check, continues. Check. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. From the 17, Jackson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. It's brought in by Jeffrey. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. And they're running the jet sweep. This is Jeffrey. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the pistol. Here's Hill. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. That's Ronnie Stanley, former top 10 pick from Notre Dame. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Following the penalty, it's Hill. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Andrews. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Jackson on first down. It's complete to Snead. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. 
That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. On third down, Jackson. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Back to throw. Key. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Off play action. Key. He's got the hook up to Miller. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. On second down now, it's Hill. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a yard on the gain there, and that'll set up third and 13. Here's Jackson on third and long. That one complete to Hill. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on here to punt it away.
That's pulled in at the 32. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Tackle made there by Tony Jefferson. It's a second down run with Sanders. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Operating from the gun, Key. He's got Evans. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. This quarterback now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. They'll run. It's Sanders. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it second and 14. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 14. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. On third down, key. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Let's go! Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They run with Hill. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Here we go! 
Not a wolf. Check 45 to Mike. Hey, pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, the busy night continues for Hill. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Go, go. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I'll guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, key, and that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard, and that'll bring up second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second and 10. And he finds Howard complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's, some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Jackson now to throw on third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Ready? 
A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's got Sneed. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Got a man, it's Brown. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Jackson, it's Hill, complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time.